I'm Garrett. I'm Calvin. And, to, and today we're going to be working on some simple turning drills, um, just to, to work on our turning in games. And um, yeah, that's that's what we're doing today. So we'll start off with our normal warm up to get our feet going. And uh, Calvin will be doing toe touches for 45 seconds. Yeah, you take this warm up seriously because today's going to be a lot of um, movement on the feet and a lot of faint. So get ready. So 45 seconds, toe touches, ready, go. Ah. Now the turns we're doing, you'll see in a lot of uh, up, uh, higher level games, like, you know, 18 and up really. But they're just good drills to start practicing while you're younger. And that way you'll be able to do them in games and be confident with them. Fifteen seconds. Keep it up. Uh, turning is a big part in soccer because you got to be able to check your shoulder to see when a defender's um, coming. While um, you have to focus on the ball as well, so you have to be good at multitasking. All right, time's up. Fifteen seconds. We'll be back at it. All right, 15 seconds is up. 45 seconds, toe touches, ready, go. Today's really good for uh, people who play up top, especially like me. I use a lot of turns. I get the ball with the defender on my back. I gotta do something. Quick turn shot, anything is just important. You guys have 15 seconds left. Good, keep it up. All right, you guys are done. Take a 15 second break. Uh, sorry about the inconvenience about it being so early and on a Monday morning, but uh, we couldn't on Saturday because it was raining the whole time, so we moved it to uh, today, and this was the only time that worked for both of us, so uh, we're, we're still out here. All right, break is up. Now we'll do tiki takas for 45 seconds. Ready, go. And Calvin was right about the uh, forwards being able to do this moves, but it should be for uh, wingers and especially center mids as well, because um, turning is a big part in the middle and also the outsides and um, different turns. Um, yeah, you, you'll need different turns in different parts of the field because some of them you won't be able to do in the middle that you'll be able to on the outside and the same vice versa. 15 seconds, keep it up. Oh, even as a defender, it's still important to be able to know turns. I mean, you won't be doing all the ones that we're showing, but you'll still, um, there's still some that will be handy. All right, guys, time's up. Take a 15 second break. We'll be right back at it. All right, 15 seconds is up, 45 seconds, ready, go. Good, keep it up guys, easy tiki taka. Twenty more seconds. Five more seconds left. 
All right, you guys are done. Get some water or something real quick. We'll explain our first turn. So we'll, we'll let y'all get some, some water real quick. Put on some sunscreen if you need. Okay, so um, our, first, our first turn today will be um, in inside of the foot turn. So actually today, it'll be most, um, it'll be the easiest if you have another person to pass to, like a dad, mom, brother, um, someone like that. But if you don't, just find a, find a wall because walls are everywhere in the house and hit it against the wall and let it come back to you and do the turn. So our first one, Calvin will show you with our right foot. So um, get the person who's passing you the ball to put it to your right foot and he'll demonstrate how to do it. Good, you see, he'll do it one more time with his right, then I'll do it with my left. It's a basic um, inside of the foot turn. Good, I'll do it twice. So I'll explain what to do. So basically, Calvin, I'll show you why I talk. But as the ball comes to you, um, we didn't do it, but um, again, we don't have pressure, but it always creates good habits to check your shoulder. So what you do is um, basically just let the ball hit the inside of your foot and then um, hit it across your body, like, like so, across your body, and turn with the ball and get out. So to... Let, uh, let me pass it to you. To try it in slow motion. Good. You see how he just turned with the ball, hit it across his body, and accelerated it out. So um, when to use this move? Um, definitely, I would say when there's your defensive mid or center mid, there's not much pressure on your back, and you could be able to turn with space. Um, that would be the best scenario, but um, you can also use it as a winger when you're trying to turn inside away from a defender. That'd work great. So what we're gonna do is, um, or also I'll tell you what not to do. Um, don't do it when there are defenders in the middle of the field waiting for it to happen. Um, don't do it too close to a defender and don't do it too far away because they'll just read it like a book. So make sure to do it right when the defender's um, like on your back but not towards the middle because that's where you're trying to go. So we'll practice each foot for 45 seconds and we'll start on the right, okay. Make sure to get someone to pass you the ball or just use the wall. All right, we'll start with the right foot, 45 seconds. Ready, go. Right. Just jog it back after you make a turn. And for this, um, you don't need to do any feints or anything. It's just simple um, turn. N nothing too difficult about it. Again, it just creates some space. I'm, it, it, there's not really much to explain because it's so um, self-explanatory on what you do. 15 seconds. Again, you should be getting six or seven reps a time because uh, just getting it back fast. Good, and that's time. Take a 15 second break and then we'll be right back at it with our left. All right, 15 seconds is up. 45 seconds, left foot inside turn. Ready, go. Oh, on this, make sure you're not trying to kick the ball way too hard. You know, it's a nice, easy, simple turn. It's not meant to be way out wide to where you're having to chase after it. You wanna try and keep it close. Like Garrett is right there, just keeping it simple. You know, just getting the turn to where he can make a pass. Look out wide, look up top, even take a shot. Five more seconds. 
All right, you guys are done. Take a 15 second break. So um, in all these turns, just keep one thing in mind that you always, always, always want to make sure that you're looking behind you to check your shoulder because um, you got you got to you got to know which turn to do when some guy depending on how far the defender is away. So um, always look behind you because it's a really nice skill to have and it'll set you apart from other pe other um, opponents. All right, break is up. 45 seconds back to the right foot. Ready? go yep again this this is not um a hard move Bas use it when you have a, a lot of space because yeah the defender could read it easily so just know when to use it you see how calvin's checking his shoulder to see where's the defender good calvin 30 or 20 15 seconds slash I'm sorry good five seconds oh yeah you see <laughs> what he told y'all not to do is what he did that's exactly what you don't want to happen all right guys so it's time um get some water get a break we'll give you a quick 15 second break All right, 15 seconds is up. Left foot inside of the inside turn. Ready, go. Oh, my bad. Oh, don't want to do that too. Don't want to hit it against your knee whenever you're turning. It's all good. Fairly simple move, but you can still make a big mistake on it. You guys have 15 seconds. Five more seconds. All right, you guys are done. Take a 15, or actually, explain our next one. Okay, so Calvin and I will both demonstrate it twice, both with our dominant foot. So here's the next one. You wanna throw in a little faint with it, Kelv? Yeah. Okay. All right, guys, that was with the right foot. Okay, so that was like um, an outside of the foot turn. So um, basically what we did is um, before the, even the ball came to us and we checked our shoulder, um, we threw in a feint to the opposite way we're gonna go. That way the defender's on your back and you're tricking them that you're going one way and then you let the ball hit your foot and go the other. So um, here, so notice how before the ball gets to him, he's, um, since he's right, he's using his right He's going to be shifting to the opposite way. So watch. Good. You notice how he took that step that way to get the defender chasing? Yeah, so what he did on the feint was, uh, you know, just lowered his shoulder and his knee. That way the defender fell for it and just tapped it the other way. And whenever you tap it, uh, you just want to turn. Good. You just want to turn the uh, direction with the ball. Very, very simple move very effective um, what's complicated about this is doing it um, with the feint because it again you're doing a lot of things at once and it's 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 kind of tough but um it, it's just, it's a really helpful move I would do it um, this is definitely a, a center mid move in my opinion and an outside wing move maybe an even outside back if you're technical enough with it but um 
it's a great move to get out of pressure, um, take the take space, get a cross in or a shot if you're a, a center mid. Yeah, and what you don't want to do is use this move in the back or um, Calvin uses this move as a forward. It's really good. Yeah, so we'll we'll do this for 45 seconds each foot, and we'll do that twice. All right, ready, set, go. Good. The feint takes away the defender and gets you a free turn. And depending on where you are in the field, that touch, um, the touch he takes with the outside of his foot needs to be either um, bigger or smaller. So if you're on the outside wing, you want it to be bigger that way you can just turn and run because no one else is going to come get you but as um, a center mid you want it to stay closer to your foot because there are more people in the middle that are likely to get the ball if it's a bigger touch my bad all right guys that's time i'm sorry 15 seconds then we'll be with our right foot again All right, breaks up. 45 seconds, left foot, ready, go. Five more seconds left, keep it up guys, keep on going. All right, you guys, time's up. Take a 15 second break. So Ronaldo. You wanna do the step over? All right guys. Time is up, we'll be doing it with our right foot again. Ready, go. It's important that you get reps, um, many reps of this. This is why we're doing it twice for 45 seconds with each foot, because um, not only is it important to turn, learn how to turn, but you gotta be able to do it with both feet depending on the situation. So if you're right footed, you better get you better practice with your left too. So it'll be just as good. Five seconds. Good. That's time guys. Take a 45 or 15 second break. We'll be back at it with our left. All right, 15 seconds is up, 45 seconds, left foot. Ready, go. It's real important that you're getting this feint down. We've worked on it before, but just that quick movement can give you a second. And that's just enough time to get past the defender, get a shot or find a pass or anything. Make sure you guys are checking. If you guys watch Messi play, he's always checking. I mean, that's why he's the best player. He's always making sure someone's there. All right, you guys have five seconds left. You guys are done. So this next is, we, I don't know what the name is. We call it the curl turn, I guess, but, um. Calvin will demonstrate it twice with the right. 
I'll do it twice with the left. Yeah, make sure to check to it more because that comes a defender. You don't want it to take it away. So cut that. All right, that was, we'll do that one more time. Yeah, my leg hit the pole. All right, good. So now we'll do it with our left. Okay, so this drill, Calvin will show. Um, whenever, all right, here. Whenever the ball comes to you, you want to turn, or you want to check two that way. Um, you get away from the defender because this move will, uh, or the defender will get it to you if he's right on your back. So you got to create space for yourself. Maybe do, um, act like you're going to run forward and check back. That's a great move. So once it comes to you, your right foot, you. You keep your ball on the foot and twist it around your body. That way you're facing forward and um, the ball's out in front of you in space. We'll do that in slow motion. Good, you notice, I mean, you notice how um, he got it stuck at his feet. I mean, you can have that if you're close to the middle of the field, but um, it's also good to, yeah, just like that, right in, in space. So, um, that's how to do it. When you want to do it, definitely in the midfield, in the center mid. I've scored goals from turning like that, getting defenders to dive in, dribbling to the middle of the field and shooting. It works really well. Um, don't do this. You could even do it as a center back, honestly. Um, that way, pass it to your other center back or get it out of trouble. Um, you, the only position I really wouldn't use this is a forward, just because uh, there are a bunch of different moves that are more effective to turn. So. Um, yeah, so we'll, we'll be practicing this 45 seconds with the right, 45 seconds with the left twice. Okay. Ready, set, go. And make sure, um, like, like Calvin just did, he checked to me. That's the only way this move will work. And also, we're not doing it just because, you know, we know each other pretty well, but, um, in a game, make sure that you call for the ball. Maybe practice that out here while you do it. Um, that way you can communicate with your def your teammate that you want the ball. You created space for yourself, so you want it. Oh, yeah. That's, that hit a bump, we're good. My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. All right, 45 seconds. Take a 15 break. Calvin, did you get a go on it? <laughs> yeah, you did. Yeah, make sure you guys are calling for the ball on our high school team. Me and Garrett, probably the most vocal people out there. Uh, we are always yelling and talking and wanting the ball. All right, 15 seconds is up. 45 seconds, left foot, go. But it was just important and Garrett, Garrett always wanted the ball. I always wanted the ball. So we were always just talking, doing one twos, creating different plays during the game, turning with the ball. I mean, doing all kinds of things. But talking is very important, especially for a goalkeeper. Any goalkeepers out there, don't be quiet. Those are the worst goalkeepers right there. All right, and your guys' time is up. Take a 15 second break. All right guys, so we'll be doing this with the right and left foot one more time. 15 seconds, good. 45 seconds, ready, go. As Calvin just said, communication is probably the most important part of the game. So you gotta be vocal. So yeah, that, that's a big key. That's a really big key of the game.
Go ahead. And as you get older, um, you're you're responsible for yourself for getting open for your teammates. So that might that might mean you have to make runs, um, even though you might not get the ball, and um, you know check away from the ball, then check back two to get yourself open. But um, you you can't just stand around when you're older and get the ball. You'll have to um, actually work for it. All right, Calvin, that's time. 15 second break and we'll be on our last one with our left. All right, time's up. 45 seconds left foot, ready, go. Like you said, making runs is important. Uh, you may not get the ball every time. Oh, my bad. But sometimes it opens up space for those, but sort of got a bit off topic off of turning, but we're just trying to give you all everything that's important that you guys can use in the game. You guys have five more seconds. All right, you guys are done. We'll explain our next one. Okay. Ronaldo. So, twice with his right, then twice with my left. Good. Again. Make sure you go more up and not sideways. There you go. Oh, I got stuck. All right, guys. So, anyways, how this drill works is, um, when the ball comes to you, and what you want to do, what we're doing it with our right foot, bring it back. So watch Calvin's first move. He he lets the ball. He doesn't um, hit it with his right foot. He lets the ball hit his right foot. So he he doesn't really make a motion to hit it. He just lets it hit, and then he turns. Um, he turns the direction the ball is going. He knows how he did that, so he's not turning to the inside, he's turning to the outside, which is what you need to do. Um, again, this is important, you gotta check to the ball, and then you got to um, check your shoulder, know how far the defender is away. So we'll do it, um, make sure, do it all, all of it together. Ready? Good, you see that's perfect. He checked his shoulder, he checked to the ball, and he um, turned the right way, and he just let the ball hit his foot. So we'll be doing that for 45 seconds, both feet. Ready, set, go. Uh, th this is a good move for, um, I'd say, definitely the wingers. Uh, yeah, this is the best move for the wingers on that. I'd just use this on the outside of the field, really. That's when it's best. Oh, that hit a bump. Don't worry. Yeah, so use it on the outside, really. That way, once you get the guy, you can take a touch down the line and get get across and get a shot in. 15 seconds left. Guys, make sure you're practicing some of these out here. Um, don't just try them once and say you're done. These, these will um, definitely come in handy in a game instead of just doing the same old turn or going backwards. So it, it's a different way to be creative. All right, guys, that's time. 15 second break, then we'll be with our left. All right, 15 seconds is up, 45 seconds, left foot, ready, go.
very important to keep the ball under control, you know. You want to tap it a bit, you know, on that back foot, but you don't want to put too much on it to where you're making it fly across the field. You want to keep it under control. You guys have five seconds left. All right, that's your time. Take a 15 second break. Yeah, so exactly what Calvin said. Don't make sure. That's why I said just let it hit your foot. That way you're not hitting it out of bounds or hitting it all the way across the field like he said because trust me, we've seen it happen. <laughs> we, we have seen it happen. And it's not pretty. All right, guys, that's time. Um, 45 seconds with that right foot. Ready, go. Good. Notice how it, it, he lets it hit his foot or maybe he barely taps it. But it, it stays close to him. Yeah, like that. That was beautiful right there. That's important that you keep getting reps in so um, you're comfortable with the move. And it's okay if, if some of these don't feel comfortable with you, just toss them out the window and practice um, practice ones that you're good at. Yeah, so after you do this move, that's when you want to... We're not accelerating forward because we're just trying to get as many reps in as possible. You're good, Calvin. But um, make sure after you end the game, once you do it, you accelerate forward. Um, maybe take a bigger touch or just accelerate and go forward. All right. 15-second break and then our last one. Good move. Good move. All right, time's up. 45 seconds, left foot. Ready, go. Twenty five seconds. Oh, see right there. I mean, anyone can make mistakes. That's why we're out here practicing. You just got to open up enough space between your foot and not. Right, you guys have five more seconds left. All right, you guys are done. Take a, actually, we'll explain our final move. All right, guys, this is our last move we'll show you. Um, Calvin uses this one all the time. Works great. Twice on the right, twice on the left. Again. Alright, it's just like a step over move. It's quite simple. Here, you wanna stay out there? Yeah. Alright. So when you receive the ball, you have a defender on the back, you just wanna stop it. And then you're gonna do like a step over right over the ball. You really wanna feint that way to get that defender going. And then you just wanna cut it inside. Or, or outside. No, outside, I'm sorry. Cut it outside the outside of your foot. So here it is in slow motion. He stops it, he steps over, and he pushes it outside with the outside of his foot. It's real simple. I use it a lot, it just gets me that quick second to rip a shot. Do it one more time. All right, this time we're gonna start it off with the left foot. For uh, 45 seconds, so we're only doing each foot once. Ready, set, go.
See, you even messed up. You just want to make sure the ball isn't moving after you touch it. You just want to get that quick movement in. Get the defender going the opposite direction. Five seconds left. All right, take a 15 second break. Yeah, so what I did different from what he I showed is that I stop it with the top of my foot or the sole of my foot. Um, I think that's a quicker way to stop it than um, with the side of your foot. And then with the same foot, step over. It's easier to just stop it with your sole and then step over with the same foot. All right, last set guys. Ready, go. Yeah, this works surprisingly very well. And it's just an all around good move. Again, make sure that the, um, make sure you check in. Or no, you don't have to check in for this one. Um, this is like for a hold up forward. You see that he's on his back and then he just um, switches direction easily. 30 seconds left. Ten seconds. Keep it up, guys. Last one, big cow. Good, and that's time. Bring it in, big dog. All right, guys. That concludes today. I'm um, turning some five different moves that you can practice. Uh, make sure you're out there practicing them. Don't just think you can do them in the game and try it and mess up. What do you got? Just keep on working at them. I mean, we always work at them. Find the one that you like. Practice that one. Find the ones that affect. That's actually effective. And just do those. That's that's what I do. All right, guys. We're really trying to help y'all out here. Give y'all some different moves that y'all could put into y'all's move set and use in the game. So um. Yeah, again, today was a makeup for Saturday, but we'll be back tomorrow at, um, tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow at 12, our normal time. All right, guys, we'll see y'all.